Science is the key to everything you know. It's true. It's in everything that we do. Here's a science show for you. Hey, Zach. Look what I got at the game yesterday. Cool plaque. Is it autographed? Yeah. Ted Williams, my favorite baseball player. Yeah, Ted Williams, the last great hitter. No, not that Ted Williams. You know, the minor league player who played for the Blue Jays. I went to the game yesterday with my dad. And they were giving this out to all the kids who came. It was Ted Williams Appreciation Day. Because he's been playing on the team longer than anyone else. Yeah, and he's the only one who could actually hit. Uh, yeah, that too. Hey, that's really cool. I love Ted Williams. You know, Matt, it's not that Ted Williams. I know who he is. My dad takes me to the minor league field once a month to see games. He's awesome. Billy, can I have this? Well, um, it's kind of cool. I'll give you this pack of baseball cards, uh, and this pack of gum. Let me see the cards, please. Hey, these are some great cards. Okay, like a trade. Hey, Billy, it's broken. He's, you sold me a broken plaque. No, I didn't. It was fine when I gave it to you. It couldn't have been. I haven't touched it since I got it. You must have known it was broken, and that's why you were willing to trade with me. Give me back my cards. No way. These are good cards, and we traded fair and square. You must have banged the plaque when you put it down. Matt barely touched the plaque when you gave it to him. And he didn't touch it at all during class. We were sitting right behind him. Billy wouldn't have traded if he knew there was a problem with the plaque. There's no way it was broken before class. Settle down now, class. Maybe we can help Matt and Billy work this out. Well, the plaque was fine when I brought it into class. And it definitely wasn't broken when I was showing it to Zach. Then I traded with Matt, and they haven't touched it since. So, I couldn't have done anything to it. Well, it looked okay when we traded. I put it down right here on the windowsill. As soon as I got it, because Mrs. Bell came in to start class. I didn't touch it at all during class, so I couldn't have done anything to it. Well, that's quite a pickle. This windowsill is really hot. Look at how sunny it is today. So what? What does that have to do with anything? Yes, Zoe. Why don't you explain what you mean? Well, the plaque is made of brass and attached to a wooden frame. The heat from the sun made the molecules in the plaque. It's not made of molecules. I thought Billy said it was brass. Everything is made of molecules, Miranda. Brass, wood, even our clothes. Yuck. My mom said this is made of pure cotton. Cotton is made of molecules, just like everything else in the world. Molecules are made up of atoms. Atom? Who's atom? Not atom, Zach. Atom. Oh. Anyway, atoms are the smallest piece of, well, anything. Atoms combine in different ways to make molecules. Molecules of brass, molecules of wood, even molecules of cotton. Oh, cool. So, how does that explain how the plaque broke? Good question, Zach. Molecules are always moving. When they get hot, they start to move faster, and then they need more space. So they end up farther apart from each other. This makes the brass get bigger. When it got too big for the wooden frame, it popped out. Wait, this is confusing. Miss Bell, can you tell us more about, uh, the sign stuff? Um, sure. Can you be more specific, Miranda? Well, is it true that brass expands when it gets hot? Yes. What else expands when it gets hot? Well, my dad said the mercury in his thermometer expands when it gets hot. That's how we know what temperature it is. When it's hotter, the molecules move faster, so the mercury expands more and the red line on the thermometer rises.
That's correct, Mikey. Very good. Even air expands, I think. I mean, my brother put a balloon over a bottle for a science project. And then when he put the bottle into a bowl filled with hot water, the air in the bottle got hot and started filling the balloon. When he put the bottle into a bowl filled with cold water, the air got cold and contracted. That's the opposite of expanding. Right, Mrs. Bell? That's correct, Mikey. Very good. So when the air contracted, it takes up less space, so the balloon got emptier. Very good examples, Mikey. So I guess everything expands when it gets hot, huh, Mrs. Bell? Correct again, Mikey. Then, the wooden frame should have expanded, just like the brass plaque, and nothing should have broken. Well... Molecules are arranged differently in different things, so different materials, like brass and wood, expand differently in the heat. Brass expands a lot more than wood. So, if Matt hadn't put the plaque down directly in the sun, it wouldn't have broken? Well, class, what do you think? <laughs> We don't think Billy sold Matt a broken plaque. Matt shouldn't have put it down in the heat of the sun. You see, Mrs. Bell, everything is made of tiny molecules, and when they get hot... Yes, I know. I was here for the whole discussion, remember? Oh, right. Well, Billy, you can keep your baseball cards. Yeah! All right! Science is the key to everything you know. It's true. It's in everything that we do. Here's a science show for you.